the odds it sucks. But you know what sucks more? Spending hours digging through emails trying to find invoice details for the tax office. And trust me, I know all about that. That's why I built an automation that extracts invoice data from emails almost instantly. Let's just say that with time and the fact I seem to be on the tax office list, I've developed a deep expertise in simplifying my life when I get odds it. So let's make sure you're also prepared. Here's how to build the automation I'm talking about. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is identify the trigger. So the trigger is from our email address, of course, that's where we receive invoices. Uh, one of the steps that I do on my Gmail, and you can do this on Outlook, by the way, there's no problem, is basically create a label for uh, invoices. Okay, so I have a small label here with all my invoices that come true. And to do this, you have to go into settings here. If you're into a Gmail, you click see all settings, and then you go into filters and block address, and you can create a rule here that's going to be basically when there's an attachment, apply invoice. So if you have a billing email address, everything that has an uh, attachment uh, to it, uh, you can label invoice. That's basically how you do it. And you can create a new filter by scrolling down and just coming here, create new filter, okay? So uh, once you do this, every new email that you're gonna create with attachments is gonna be label uh, invoice. And we're gonna use this insider and, and trigger, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is of course have the Gmail node. And how we set this up is very simple. You will need to remove this simplify uh, thing here. Make sure you're connected to your actual email address as well. Inside the filter, we will want to uh, search for label, the one that we created that has uh, invoices because we just want those emails for this workflow. And inside option here, if you remove simplify, you will have download attachments. So this is something that you'll need to have access to the PDF. Perfect, so now we can see we have binary data with the PDF, so I could download this and it's basically uh, the invoice received on the email. So there's two things that I wanna do here. One, I wanna extract information and send this inside uh, Airtable, which basically acts like Google Sheet, but I use Airtable because I'm gonna be sending uh, the invoice as well, the PDF associated with the invoice inside Airtable. And there's also the part that I wanna upload on uh, Google Drive, okay? So let's do first Google Drive because I think it's uh, it's the one that's a little bit more complex, but um, it's quite easy when you understand. So first is gonna be upload file, right? Uh, we wanna copy this attachment. So this is the binary data uh, name. Instead of data, we're gonna put this here. And file name here, what we're gonna do is just be dynamic with it. So I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna use the variables from the email and I'm gonna use uh, something like the email address, so here. This is the email address that's sending me the invoice and then I'm gonna put a dash and maybe the date here, yeah. For the uh, drive folder in which we're gonna uh, put it, basically we're gonna go here, I'm gonna remove those. We're gonna start fresh. And uh, if basically if I go inside the URL here, you're gonna see uh, here above, this is my folder ID. I prefer doing it this way because uh, instead of just searching for the folder, and, and this, I can just copy the ID like this. If I execute this step right here, you're gonna see it's uh, actually gonna put the uh, PDF inside Google Drive. So if I refresh this, you're gonna see it. And voila. If I double click on this, you're gonna see the information of the invoice. So invoice number, the date, uh, you're gonna see the email from which it is uh, from essentially, and the uh, total here, the different totals. So discount, total, VAT. Uh, I'm interested in the total including VAT, the date, maybe the invoice number and the email address, okay? So it's gonna be useful for when we do the uh, Airtable table. Perfect, which is already done, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, just save some time, okay? The second thing is because we're gonna be sending this inside Airtable, we need to format uh, the uh, link basically. Okay, so if we go here, you're gonna see on the right, we uh, get access to a web view link. Okay, for Airtable specifically, we can't just paste uh, this here, this link, because this is not gonna download the attachment. We need to format it. So to do this, we need access to some code. Okay, so custom JavaScript code. I do have a swipe, well, let me remove this. I do have a swipe code, which is gonna be available in my school group. So uh, if you're not in it, feel free to join. It's gonna be in the description. You go into the classroom here. 
Uh, you're going to go into live builds. It's going to be, this one's going to be right here and extracting invoice from emails. You're going to have this code that you can just copy. And this is by the way, specifically if you use Airtable, uh, then you just copy this basically. Okay. So format, um, link then execute a step. And basically this creates the link into a format where Airtable is going to accept it. Okay. So this is done. The other thing that we have to do if you want Google Drive, uh, if you want to give Google Drive the ability to share the link is, well, actually share it. So we're going to share the file here. Uh, important you do it after the code if you're using the code that I just gave you. Uh, the file ID is super easy to find. We're going to go back on the left. Here we're just going to put by ID and we're going to find it right here on the left. Boom. You will need some permission. So role is going to be uh, just reader and then anyone can read it and that's going to be good to go. So what this does is basically if you go back into here, Google Drive and I click share, you're going to see it went from totally locked to now anyone can see it with the link. Okay. This is exactly what we want. So the first part of the workflow is built. Now what I'm going to do is extracting the data part. So I'm just going to add another uh, thing under, and this is going to be basically extracting. So extract from file and this is PDF. So I'm going to put this here. Then let me just, uh, reshape this. If you didn't know, uh, basically and it and process and order, uh, different lines from top to bottom. So this is here gonna, uh, start first and it's going to go to extract file here. We're going to want to put the binary field. It's going to be the name of the file here like this. And we execute this step and we're going to get some text. Okay. From the invoice. So super good. Now what we're going to do is use AI. So information extractor, let's plug a chat GPT. I like using uh, ChatGPT uh, 4.1 right now for this mini because it's not a huge task. So let's try at 4.1 mini. Perfect. And then if we go into here, we're just going to paste the text. And like I said, what I want to extract, if I go to my earth table right now, I have the email, I have the date, the invoice number, the total amount and the invoice itself. Okay. So I want those information. And I'm going to tell the AI to get those information. So we're going to start with email, email, the invoice is from always put required. If you actually want the information, then the date, date of the invoice required, then voice number. This is the invoice number required. Oops. And then, uh, last thing I said was uh, total amount. So I'm going to say total amount with VAT here, but you can have all the numbers if you want. So total amount, including the VAT boom. If I click execute step now, this is going to give me uh, my information. So I'm just checking that everything is correct and this seems all correct. So that's perfect. What I want to do now is add this to our table basically. Okay. So I will, I want to keep track of all the records. So to do this, I need to merge the two lanes like this. It's going to be a combine. So I'm just going to connect both. And here uh, we're going to have combined by all possible connections. So we get one item output. So if I do this right here and then I execute the step, boom. Um, let's just check here. Okay. Um, one sec. I have, we, we have to do something actually that I forgot. Uh, let's do a set variable right here because I want the output of this right here. So attachment. Cool. Let's see if this works. This is probably, yeah, this played the workflow again. So I'm just going to start from scratch. And let's see if this works. Okay. Seems like it's working. Let's just check that the invoice is actually there. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because I deleted the new one, um, what I'm going to do is just execute the workflow entirely from scratch. Okay. Now, if we go into the Google drive, Okay, perfect. We have the invoice right here. It's what we want. The merge looks good. So we're going to be able to have the earth table record. So if we go create a record, then I'm going to go in my table. 
information storage and then I have invoices here like this and we're just gonna map everything so email date invoice number total amount and here there's a plot twist because this is our table it's not gonna work if I do this this is not gonna work just to show you because it's expecting an array so what we have to do is basically had the square bracket right here to signify this is an array and now if I do this and execute the step it should be working perfect we're gonna go verify inside our table that everything is there boom okay so we got all the information the invoice is there that's what we want so this way we don't lose anything the last step I would say is it'd be nice to be notified on slack that there's a new invoice so let's do just that um, create uh, basic no it's not great it's send a message then uh, this one here for me to make sure you connect your slack account obviously I want to send this to a channel and the channel is going to be I created a test channel for those this type of stuff testing and the message is going to be we just receive a new invoice and then let's put oh you have to put an expression here from date invoice number and then uh, total amount with VAT like this from we're just gonna map the variables here uh, so invoice number total amount boom and here we could just add by text euro so telegram shows uh, not telegram slack shows if I do this then I should be having a new notification right here so you can see there's this automated with this and, 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 and workflow I don't like this what I'm gonna do is uh, gonna go in the option here and these this include link to workflow and I just remove this and if we launch it again basically you've got the information here perfect so that's it for the um, basic workflow. I'm going to put the template inside um, my school group as well if you don't want to build it. But if you have some further logic when it comes to what you want to do with the data, maybe you want to do per month, separ well, separated per week, per month. Maybe you want to do some calculations for the uh, invoice amount from providers. Uh, you can do all of this logic uh, after you've done the basic extraction, which is basically uh, here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. The possibilities are limitless. And so if you do something like this, you're going to be prepared for when the tax, <laughs> for when the tax office knock to your door. Um, trust me on this. Um, if you like the video and you found it informative, please like subscribe, send some feedback. Um, also, if you want to learn more about AI automations, operations, and also download their templates so you can make money with them as well, feel free to join our new school group. There's now a Trinidad members, so that's super cool. The link is going to be in the description. See you there.